<laughs> Greetings, Keishlings. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of uh, Record of Ragnarok, Chapter 7. Alright, last time we got to see more of the clash between Tesla and Beelzebub, and Beelzebub was basically like, as it was explained to me, because it didn't make a lot of sense when I read the last chapter, but considering that he's basically been on a... Uh, a murder spree of sorts of everyone around him he himself wants to die so and tesla is not really showing that he can complete such a task so again beelzebub weeps but anyway <clears throat> let's i got into what shall we balzebub an unusual god with two faces. Why is that spelled that way? Okay, chapter 70, The Desire of the Gods. As the god of er, fertility, virility, Baal would gain or bring rain to all living creatures. As the devil of flies, Zebal would bring destruction to earth. The god was worshipped in the temple of Palmyra, according to the Canaanite traditions. Beelzebub will, uh, with no gap in attack and defense, Nikola Tesla, the super autonomaton, <laughs> has fallen to his knees, kneel before Zod. <clears throat> it's going to just be the running theme tonight, isn't it? Check out my uh, unordinary reaction for that. Beelzebub is so strong with such a small staff. <laughs> mm. No, that staff is a weapon that amplifies Beelzebub's power. When wielded with the left hand, it becomes a shield that can repel Tesla's thunderbolts. If wielded with the right hand, it is a sword that destroys armor created by the gods. The staff of Apomius? Apomius. <clears throat> what the? Left hand, right hand? What do you mean? Beelzebub's ability, the devil flies flapping. Each of the left and right hands have different characteristics. The left hand is defensive, the right is for offense. By specializing the vibrations in such a way to maximize offensive and defensive power. In my left hand, I have the power of defense, and in the right hand, I have the power of destruction. <clears throat> the staff is both a weapon and armor. That further strengthens the vibrations. You, you mean you can attack and defend with one ability? That's right. The ability is the embodiment of the two faces of Balzabal. He is, so to speak, a god with both the strongest spear and the strongest shield. Okay. Let's see, what's Tesla doing? Is he trying to charge up? Ah, that's fantastic! The power increased several times more than with your hand sword, huh? Interesting, it seems that the staff is amplifying the vibrations, right? He's analyzing. He, he looks so happy. That's a bad habit of that research geek. What? How does that work? Can I borrow that staff? I'll give it back to you as soon as I'm done a little research. Uh oh. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to bother with you anymore. He. Okay, so. Vibrations! Uh, you can't kill me. No, nine, yet. You ignorant god. Mm -mm -mm. The present may be yours, but the future is ours. So mankind is always one step ahead of the present and two steps ahead of the future. What are you trying to say? We are the future. About time. It's finally full. What? Oh, God. He's fully charged, isn't he? <clears throat> he's made a giant Tesla coil. Let me show you. Okay, he... All the things are spinning. Humanity's evolution and true value. He's made an infinity symbol. A giant one. Okay. And now it's crossing over with other... Oh my god, he's making a... 
it's a Faraday cage, isn't it? Infinity electric cage. Welcome to the uh, Gematria zone. Prison of the gods. Okay, so steel cage match or electric cage match. Electric slide two, electric boogaloo, or whatever. Anyway, wow, it's so bright and pretty. What the hell is that? They're they're surrounded by light. A cage of electricity. Is that an, an optical ability? No. It's unmistakably real. What? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? Tesla is always floating now. Floating? Oh my. This is ridiculous. So basically, he's probably just reversed the polarity of the of the electricity, creating the an effects of an electromagnet. I'm imagining. Science? No, Nikola Tesla science. Is beautiful. Yes, you you keep keep weeping over there, Edison. Prison. In this nine point six three meter square world, you are no longer God. I am. Oh, well, apparently that was the end of the chapter. All right. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be that short. It had really great flow. Like, I mean. For a monthly series chapter to go like this, I mean, I've been reading for less than seven minutes. Um, hmm. Interesting. I was hoping, or hoping, hoping, that's a word, hoping that he was going to do like a Faraday cage or something, or a Tesla coil, which, I mean, he might still. I mean, those are things that he likely, w you know, are very synonymous with the Faraday cage maybe not as much because the fact that it was created by another scientist um, to defend against electric attacks um, or like excuse me electric pulses and shocks and everything it's and for those not aware Faraday cages so that you can like put electronic devices in there and then EMPs wouldn't you know fry them um, so yeah, a lot of doomsday preppers have those so that they can put their devices in there should like a solar flare or something creates a uh, EMP. But anyway, um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm liking this. He, he's trapped Beelzebub, at least for the time being. He can float, so he's kind of like he has great mobility. Everything is within his own range. Um, Beelzebub, we have a full explanation of his powers. Uh, I mean, we kind of already got that last chapter, but, you know, with the whole, like, the origins of him, like two god or two faces of the same god kind of deal, like, that's been fully elaborated on as well. Um... So his name is just a corrupted version of these two gods' name. Interesting. Devil of Flies. Interesting. Um, and a fertility god. Baal is a thing from, like, Middle Eastern culture because that was one of the, uh, what's known in the, like, lesser demons of the Key of Solomon. It, Ball is like a god of electricity in some regards. At least it was in a... What you call it? Uh, it was another manga. Labyrinth of the Magi? It was just Magi. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. I'm kind of wondering... Did that play a part in anything? I don't know. But anyway, so... Interesting. But, uh, overall, pretty good chapter. Art was good. Um, the, uh, like I said, the flow was just awesome. I've almost spent as much time talking about the chapter than I had reacting to it. So, hmm. But, yeah, so that happened. Um, 
I, I wasn't expecting the cage, to be honest. I was expecting, you know, like, maybe turn, like, the pillars into, like, Tesla coils, and then they would just be, like, shooting random bolts of electricity and maybe arcing off of each other, becoming stronger, and, like, just burning the area and stuff, and with his, like, electromagnetic powers, presumably, he could, like, deflect them and maybe control them in some way by, you know reflecting them or attracting them to himself <clears throat> and then repelling them at the last second kind of deal like that could be pretty cool him being able to float i assume is due to electromagnetism as i already explained so okay tesla i see what you got i see what you're cooking um beelzebub how do you fare against this um but yeah, anyway, that's about all I have to say about the chapter. Let me know your own thoughts and opinions. Anything I missed, misunderstood, please let me know down below. Check out my other content. Uh, I should have Unordinary and Kaiju number 8 um, either already up or about to be up kind of deal or in the next 24 hours or so. So stay tuned for that. Um, like, comment, and subscribe. Links down below for all my stuff. Uh, social media so you can keep up with my content and have ways to contact me i stream on twitch where i do gaming and i'll tweet you down when i go live part of the one punch i am podcast on groom reaper's channel so go check that out and as always later days and until next time quichelings into the bug zappa you little fly <laughs>